All right, guys and gals, I'm stuck in the house again cooking. I'm going to show you all how to do deer burgers. I know you older folks already know how and stuff. This is for the younger folks, like the the other cooking shows I do when I do a cooking show. Uh, all right, what I've got here is one quart of ground deer meat. Of course, I always put um, about... 30 to 40 percent fat in my deer meat too beef fat i put one egg in here as you can see i got some onions chopped up i'm gonna add some lowry's garlic salt if y'all watch my videos you know that's all i use and we're gonna add a bunch of that make it good and good and salty then I'm going to have to mix all this stuff up again. I'm having to, it's hard to video this and wash my hands and do it again and wash my hands and do it again. We're going to go ahead and add some, uh, where's my black pepper? I'm going to go ahead and add some black pepper. I need this thing sitting on the tripod. See if y'all can see that. I like good pepper. I like my black pepper, so I'll douse it up. Ugh. All right, you see there, I got the black pepper, the onions, the meat, and the egg, and garlic salt. That's it. Now we'll mix this up real good. We'll mix that up real good you know make patties and fry them don't fry them long you'll dry them out just like anything else that's why i put some onions in there it keeps the moisture and all in there like it should be and the egg holds it together a little better i don't know if i can set this camera up right let me turn a little more light on maybe y'all can see it better then if i add some more lights then all we do is mix it up. Get the egg. I might have to add one more egg. I don't think so, though. I usually don't. I usually only put one egg. And just mix it real, 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 real good. Get that pepper and garlic salt mixed all up in there. I might add a little more garlic salt because I like my garlic salt. Yeah, that's starting to... That's starting to uh, get blended up in there. Now I'll make my patties and put them on a plate just for the video. And usually I'll just make a patty at a time and throw it in the pan. And I'll go ahead and make the patties and uh, put them in a bowl or on a plate. Oh, this camera is not wanting to cooperate. I don't want to get both hands dirty because I got to turn the water on to wash my hand for something with something instead of having to wash my hand and the faucet. But you ain't. Ooh, I wish y'all had smell o vision. His hair gonna be mm, doggy. This will make my boy wake up too. Timmy, smell these things cooking. He'll be up. He he been up helping me clean two hogs this morning, and uh, he's tired too. So, but this will wake him up. <laughs> I kind of make my meatloaf like this too, except a few more different ingredients. I love my dear meatloaf too, which I just made one of them the other day. It might, I might have made a video on that. I ain't sure. I forget a lot because I'm getting old. Y'all gotta forgive me. Yeah, that's that's the right consistency there. That is the right consistency. Mix it just a little bit more, make sure I got all that salt. Let me add some more salt, because I love my garlic salt. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Don't want to oversalt it. Yeah. 
And uh, deer's like gator. If you overcook it, it's either dry or tough or both. So you gotta watch it real close. Only cook it just a couple of minutes on each side. And that's it. That'll make you the perfect burger. If you're looking for a wife cooker, one of them. I ain't looking for one, but I'm gonna cook these anyway, because I like them. Oh yeah. All right, guys and gals. That's what I got. I'm gonna make the patties now. Go ahead and start my grease getting hot. Let's see, if you got an electric stove, I wouldn't go over just past the half. This is a half the little dot there. Because if you turn the stove on high, these electric stoves, of course this one here is not like the old ones. Them old stoves that you used to have, they had little round burners on them. If you left something sitting there a couple of minutes, you'd burn the house down. Trust me, I, I've done it. It wasn't fun. So, but these ones, these stoves like this here is a lot better. <sighs> With the glass top, it evens the heat out a lot better. Where you don't catch your house on fire. Alright, let me sit y'all over here for a second. If I can. Alright. I'm just going to put them on a plastic a plate, paper plate right now. Just make my little patties. Just take about a handful. You don't want these things too thick. You want them as thin as you want them. Yeah, you want them as thin as you want them. That's right. Never forget that. You don't want them hockey pucks, though. Because once they shrivel up, if you make them too thick, they'll be hockey pucks. So I'll make mine about like that. Y'all can see that? I'm only going to do a couple right now because there's only two of us in the house. I may go ahead and uh, make some patties up and put them in between freezer paper and stick them in the freezer. That way I don't have to do it again instead of using the whole packet, throwing the whole pack out again. I may. You never know what I'm going to do. And that's a fact. I don't even know what I'm going to do half the time. I need to get on some uh, survival videos. It's getting summertime, but we've been having rain and storms and stuff, and I don't like the thunderstorms. Because I get out there, I get scared. Not. Nah. All right, wash my hands again. I'm always constantly washing my daggone hands when I'm cooking. And get that grease on it, because I put so much fat in my deer burgers. Mm. And beef fat's just like pork fat, it's fat. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'm, turning, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove, since I'm right here by it, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on high. And get it done. <sighs> that one of mine never did take this pork server one out to the dog. Timmy! You want to run this out to the dog real quick where I can wash his pan? Y'all know how kids are. I said you want to run this pan out to Star real quick where she can have a damn uh, pork shirt on. I'm cooking a deer burger now. Y'all want to know what's on in my drink every time I... Y'all see me with a cup on here? It's called drink. That's all I'm saying. It's after 3 o'clock, so I can have one. All right, Tiffany. I hear you talking back in there. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> And wait till you see that video tip. <laughs> <coughs> now I gotta wash my hands again. I just coughed into it. Dang it. I'm gonna have so much fun. 
I love making these different videos. I should love it. I just need somebody videoing me instead of me having to move the camera around and everything. That's that's aggravating. You, you try it once, you'll know. Oh, how do you do that? I need to get my other camera out and put a I need to put a post in here where I can mount because I got a camera, I bought a Canon camera that mounts to your tree stand, the, the tree that you're sitting on where you can video your hunting and all. I need to get a pole in the house or something, I guess, where I can mount that thing on there where it's a lot easier zooming in and out. And uh, everything is make better videos and everything. But I've only used it a couple of times so far. I tried turkey hunting with it the other day, making a turkey video, but that didn't work out because them boys come in there on me with running dogs, the hogs with dogs. And the dogs were coming right to me. So I had to shoot my pistol to turn the animal critter away from the dogs where the dogs were turned and I never did get no turkey video so we're still we're, we're gonna get a turkey video I promise you just keep watching just keep watching keep subscribing keep telling your friends to subscribe <laughs> I'm sorry y'all it's annoying if you knew me you knew me. There ain't no telling what I'm gonna do next. You hear that bubbling? Oh, she cooking up. I may have too much grease in the pan. I ain't sure y'all like that. Well, maybe I do. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more in a different pan. I think I got too much grease in this pan already. I'm frying chicken. Burgers in this other pan. And that's all I'm doing. All right, pork right burner. That will be that one. Yeah, that grease there is a little too dark. So I'm gonna do a new pan. I'm gonna do a new pan with new grease instead of chicken grease. Yeah, that grease is too dark. I don't like that. We're going to do new burgers in the other new pan. Anywho, I'm going to sit y'all over here on this side. Maybe then. I need my other tripod. Can y'all see me? Hopefully. Ain't too ugly, Emma. <laughs> Let me zoom y'all in. That way you can see a little better, maybe. Well, zoom. There we go. Yeah, that's what's in my cup. The good stuff. I only take it after 3 o'clock, though, so technically, I'm not an alcoholic. Sometimes I don't get it until 5, like just now. Uh-oh. Let me flip these burgers. Oh, I wish y'all could smell that though. Hot, hot, hot. It is hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I'm trying to make more videos. The day I'm going to buy these gas prices so high. It's hard to go very far from the house but I'm not monetized yet I'm going to stick that burger in there but I need to get a uh, graphics design so if any of y'all know a graphic design close to Brunswick, Georgia or Waycross give me a shout out 
And uh, let me know if I don't find one before that before then. Because I need to uh, put my logo on my camper trailer. That way when I go all over the state during hunting season, I'll have more subscribers, hopefully. And we're getting more subscribers. So I like making these videos. I uh, I'm retired from the fire department, so I've got nothing else to do. But I love hunting. That's all I live for. If it wasn't for hunting, I'd be dead right now. I'd be gone. See you, Paul. Later on, dude. It don't take long to cook deer. Not long at all. Uh, but I'll show you the difference in new grease and old grease. Well, not old grease, but usually one time. I guess you call it old. They don't make grease like they used to either. It used to be hard. It used to boil the fat off of the hog. It used to just take and put the fat off of the hog into a pot and just keep boiling it and stirring it and keep just boiling it and stirring it until you got white lard. And that's what y'all would use to cook with. Now they got vegetable oil, castor oil, whatever other kind of oil you want to name to put in there, don't. And half of it is nowhere near as good as the lard used to be. So what I did, check this out. I cooked a, um, I cooked a half a butt yesterday off a wild hog that I killed. There might not have been a wild hog. It might have been a hog that I caught and, and raised up and butchered. But see that pretty clean white grease on top? That's called lard. And all you do is take a spoonful out and put it in. It's cooked. And it's the best stuff. Way better than this vegetable oil and stuff they got. All right. Flip these burgers. They've been on there, what, about two minutes? Ah. Oh, yeah. These look way better. Now I'll show you how these new burgers are looking. This is the two I cooked in the chicken grease. Well, I fried chicken in at one time. It's vegetable oil. And this is how these are looking. Awfully way better. Just from new grease. The lard makes it way better. And it don't, it don't ruin as quick either for some reason. I don't know what it is. The old time you just boil the fat off of you. And you get a big old fat, fat hog, and boil that grease down and make lard. Stick to the old time. Stick to the old time remedies and recipes. You'd be way better off, I'm telling you. Might make it chubby like this, but. What's this, the third time I done called him? Maybe the fourth. Timmy, you want to take this pork out to the dog? I got a big bloodhound outside. I used to track with her all the time. And uh, she done got so old now. She's getting cancers all over her. I had one of them cut off. I was that big around and about that long. I had it cut off at the vet, but she's growing them back on different spots. So she's so old now, it ain't, it ain't worth having them cut off because she could die any day. Cause she's like 15, 16 years old, probably. But she's done her job, that's for sure. She's done her job. Very proud of that dog. She's made me a lot of money tracking for different people up in the mountains, down on the flat land, everywhere. She was that good. I've never had a dog that good, except for one more. I had a black lab that uh, I could go out and within an hour, just me and that one dog, we'd be back at the house in an hour with three or four wild dogs tied up and ready to go. I feel like a dope. I feel like I'm in here, in, I'm into my kitchen by myself talking. Now. I know I'm talking to you guys, right? But if somebody walked up to my door and they see me in here talking and they looking around and they don't see no money, like, dang, that boy crazy! I 
I don't think I'd have to worry about them coming back. <laughs> Alright guys, here it is. Let's see if I can show y'all. Mm. First two burgers. Done in oil that's only cooked chicken in it one time. Fresh grease. Fresh pan. They look so much better. And they'll fill the bread a lot better. But if we don't eat those, Charlie will which we're going to eat those anyway. That's how you do a deer burger, y'all. That's how you do a deer burger. All right, hope y'all enjoyed these videos. I'm going to try to keep making more. Hopefully, as soon as Tom gets back, we can go do some survival videos. That way I got a little extra help with the camera and everything. And get that done. Sorry about all this, but I don't know what's wrong with my chest and stuff. That's just... The last video I made, I, I looked at it after I done edited it and everything. I never noticed it when I was editing it all. But after the fact, in my last video on, uh, what was it? The boat dirt ramp at Satilla. I mean, I was sn sniffling and I was sniffing a lot and coughing a lot. And I, I never paid it no attention until after the video was up. So maybe this one ain't going to be like that. So tell somebody you love them. We'll see you on the next one. Mmm, so good. See, down in the middle. Mmm. 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 That's how a deer burger's done. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but... <laughs>